Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashi to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashi. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh no. <laughs> captain, come in, Captain. <laughs> Many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am. You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, all right. right. But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Hmm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, sir, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. <sighs> I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. <laughs> Yow! He's getting away. <laughs> Yow! Was he? Hey, so what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship. We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the eight. Uh, no, um, octonauts to the launch. Um. Follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, vegetables! <laughs> Lift it up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Cap. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. Hi. You mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Ooh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Ah, goodbye. Thanks for coming soon now. Oh, um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts. <laughs> 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 hey, 
so. Be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, oh, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Aye, glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh, that's the patient? Uh -huh. Say ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me a stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka Wack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka Wack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. 
high, right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! Oh, fast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwack hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwack. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah, oh, of course not. I only eat tiny things. And besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep. My brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission here is complete. 
Dashie, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain, there's something wrong with the ship. It's... <laughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? <laughs> it looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course. The old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh, did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the GUP A. Dashie, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everybody this way. <laughs> There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. <laughs> wow. It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations! Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Uh, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! Cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? Now 
Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. Whoa! What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus, and now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody into position. Lights out. Look! It's huge! Shh! Just a little closer. Now! <laughs> Stay alert, everyone! It might make a swim for it! Yeah. It escaped! And it got the flashlight out of the jar! But where did it go? Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Search everywhere. Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag. She has to be in here somewhere. Ink. Ah, hello there. Stay back. Don't make me ink you again, you invaders. Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? It was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? Mmm. You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converter did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye! Goodbye. Bye. 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 See ya! <laughs> Octonauts, tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, Kashi? 
Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, the case of the curious cuckoo clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashie gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh, like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing? Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Mm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. Uh, oh. <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister, right, Kashi? Uh, except when she's reading. Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Ashy? Oh, um, oh, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. Are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous taught her our lovely kelp forest home, and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um. Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There! That's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi, and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp. Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way. That thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snoot, snoot, snoot. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. <sighs> Whatever it is, we've got to find it. But be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet. Shadowy. 
With lots of places to hide. <gasps> the kelp monster! He's just away. They normally live here. And he's not big enough to be the creature. Right. I knew that. Look! Torn kelp! And there's more over here. And here. Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kelp? I'm not hiding. I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? Not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbour seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual, and it might be a clue. Deshi, look! Shells! But not snail shells, barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look! They lead in there! It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail! The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. Snort! <laughs> Bellow! <laughs> Creak! <gasps> huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth. Just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you, a grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that grey whale go? Let's not go for real. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. There they are! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First we discovered the spiked up part of the seafloor. Then we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the seafloor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Only me! This kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. Our whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? This will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Buffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? 
Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Ooh! Yeah! Ooh. <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. <laughs> there he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a. Uh... Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. Oh, oh! And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, puppy! Yeah. Yeah. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Kevin. Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and come! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's. Story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. 
It's time for plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cuckoo! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. Go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Puffy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. to watch out for really big fish. I'll keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder what those little lights are up ahead. 
Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashy, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow. What? Shiver me whiskers. Lappity flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Dashy, oh, sound oh, the Octo Alert! Oh. Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. We're in this tentacle suit. Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> Now down. That's it. Ha <laughs> ha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be. <laughs> <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws... ...to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid... 
then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed. Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey, this is fun. Everyone, pull up. Up, 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 up. up. Chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air, so sooner or later they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much, anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good swan. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Tunip and the Vegemals are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> Dark. I can't see the pod. I see it. I see it. You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh. Down. Go down. Everyone, die. The other way! Bring the cups around! Hurry! They're heading for some sharp rocks! You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I got it. Oh, I got it! Octonauts, pull up! Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Now. Watch the hooks, matey! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, 
this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of. Oh, that's strange. What? Who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp Spider! Yow! <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was... it was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there. And it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Hello out there. 
We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Chibbons with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, <laughs> goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A oh, goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Captain?
We love your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh no, we orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. <laughs> yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself. Hey, so, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. <laughs> it's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkling, prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Draft. I've asked! I've got you now! Ha-ha! <laughs> mm. Huh? Ah, no, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. <sighs> Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder and we're drifting pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. <laughs> I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh, it's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radar contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shh! 
Give me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look. Quasi! I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no. oh dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! We've got to stay with the gum. Jump again. <laughs> oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! <laughs> gotcha! We've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! I think I see something. It's Barnacles and Peso. We found them. What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. Hi, thanks to our Orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! Yeah, you orcas can do everything. Now we can get the gups home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. Yeah! The last one to the cave is a rotten fish egg! Hey, wait for us, Quasi. Slow down. You shiver me. Whiskers. Sorry, mateys. I just can't wait to go monster hunting in these old mysterious caves. Not monster hunting, Quasi. Fossil hunting. Fossils? 
Oh, who wants to look for a bunch of boring old rocks? <laughs> well, I do. Fossils aren't just rocks, Quasi. They're made from the remains of creatures that lived long ago. See? Still looks like a bunch of old rocks to me. Thanks, Tunip. If we find any big fossils, we'll need you to bring in the work lights, OK? <laughs> Octonauts, let's find some fossils. <laughs> Finding anything. Fossil collecting takes patience. Just move any loose rock and check carefully. Flappity flippers. <gasps> Peso, you found a fossil. I did? Yes, and it's a very impressive one, too. Tunip, better bring in the lights. Well done, well done. Let's see. Eight fins, thick scales, a tail with three parts. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! This is the fossil of a coelacanth! A what do you want, what? A coelacanth! They lived 65 million years ago, back with the dinosaurs. But there aren't any around today. This fossil is an amazing discovery. In that case, we should remove it carefully and take it back to the octopod to study. Yeah. Who turned out the lights? But how did that come unplugged? There's no one in these caves but us. Is there? <gasps> the fossil! What happened to it? It appears our fossil has disappeared. <laughs> Just like the fossil. Ah! Ah! Huh? What is it, Quasi? I know what happened to the fossil. You do? It came to life and swam away. Um. Uh, Quasi, fossils used to be living things, but now they're just rocks. They can't come to life. They can if the fossil is really a jumping jangle bones. J -j 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 jumping jangle bones. According to pirate tales passed down by me granddad, Calico Jack, jumping jangle bones are spooky fish that look like rocks. But they come to life and try to scare you away when you get too close to the places where they like to hide. Places like these sea caves. Hmm. I've never heard of a jumping jangle bones, but one thing's certain. Something took that fossil, and we're going to find out what it was. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, something or someone has taken the coelacanth fossil we found in this cave. A coelacanth fossil? A very rare discovery. I do hope you're able to find it. Captain, I've been watching the cave and nothing else has gone in or out since you've been in there. Then the fossil and whatever took it are still in here with us. Keep an eye on the cave and let us know if anything comes out. Thanks, Dashy. Right, let's split up and search the cave. Everyone, pick a tunnel. Aye, and watch out for the jumping jangle bones. Right, you bony beast. I know you're in here somewhere. Uh, ah, I've got you now, you ghostly. Uh, uh, get back here. Uh, uh, you can't outsmart me, you jumping. Peso, nothing to be afraid of. There's no such thing as jumping jangles. Hello? It's it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Wait! Come back! We just wanted to ask you about. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shellington, I think it's heading your way. Thanks, Peso. Wait, tune in! Whatever took the fossil is heading this way. Everyone, keep your eyes open for anything that looks like... What was that? Barnacles to Octonauts. I think I hear something up ahead. I think I hear something too. So do I. Me too. It sounds like it's right around this corner. Octonauts! Oh, so it was just you I heard. Yeah, and that's just my tail you're squishing. Oops, sorry, Quasi. Looks like it is only us in here. Aye, it's only us and him! Wait! This way! I think I see something. It's... it's... What? What? The fossil! The jumping jangle bones must have turned back into stone before we could catch it. But Quasi, jumping jangle bones aren't real. Oh, how else do you explain how the fossil moved in here by itself? Hmm, good question. It's still a mystery. <gasps> um, I'm starting to think you guys just don't believe my monstery tales. What is it, Peto? The, the fossil. It's alive. The fossil's alive. The fossil's alive! <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, my fault. I didn't mean to frighten no one. I wasn't frightened, just uh, stretching my legs. Are you a jumping jangle bones? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just a coelacanth. But that's impossible. Coelacanths haven't been around since the dinosaurs. We are still around. We like to stay out of sight, though. Keep to ourselves. Fascinating. A real-life coelacanth. I can't believe my eyes. But why did you move that fossil? Oh, right. Sorry. It's just I'm kind of shy, and I'm not used to visitors in my cave. I just thought that if I hid the fossil, you'd lose interest and leave. Well, unless we can get past these rocks, we're never going to be able to leave. Looks like we might need some backup. Barnacles to Dashy. Come in, Dashy. Ah, we must be too deep in the caves to make radio contact. No worries, mateys. We'll just dig ourselves out. We don't want any more rocks to fall. One, wait! <laughs> seen such a big fish move like that. <laughs> it helps to have eight fins and a big tail. But doesn't that hurt? Oh, not at all. My scales are super tough, like armour. Hmm. Do you think you could swat away these rocks while we dig ourselves out? Ah, uh, I think I could manage that. <laughs> <laughs> You thought was me. Right here. Catch! Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help back there. And sorry again about disturbing your cave. <laughs> we didn't think anyone was home, let alone a real living coelacanth. Ah, don't worry about it. But next time, be careful who you call a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> Put her there, matey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Because I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>